Hey guys, I'm still here at the Truck Camper Adventure Rally where I met Avi Myers. And he has this amazing rig right here. And he's gonna give us a, a tour of it. Absolutely. Some of the innovations he has in this is really remarkable. So the truck is a 2019 Ram 5500. I ordered it just as a bare chassis. I had this truck bed. Some people would call it a utility bed, but it, it's more than that. I had it custom designed and built by Highway Products because I wanted a very, very clean, seamless appearance as if this came out of the factory like this. So I took the chassis and the camper strapped to the chassis. I took it to them, left it with them for over a month and said, this is what I want. And this is what I got. Absolutely beautiful production. Uh, they did a great job. So I've got a Kelderman air suspension system. I'm using Hutchinson 20 inch rims. These are the reversible uh, rims and they're also split rims, beadlock, 37 inch tires. We have a 16,500 pound winch. We've got an air jack here. On top, we put some desert lights, some additional storage. I keep my spear fishing gear up in there. We go this way. First locker is a pass through. Place for fishing poles. A nice small tackle box. We've got an Oasis 4000 compressor here, which more than takes care of all of our high pressure needs. I love that you have an air operated jack. That's really nice. Of course, of course. In this locker, I keep my grill and this comes out. This is a top burning grill, easy to maintain, easy to keep clean and works beautifully. That's propane powered? This is propane powered can be replaced with an electric. Storage, more storage. Here I keep all my exercise equipment. This is a military grade first aid kit. More storage. So here I'm pulling this, this whole unit out and I'm installing a desalination unit. So I can stick the end of a hose right into seawater and make six gallons per hour of fresh water. This little locker, I just keep all of my air tools and uh, all the stuff that I need for airing down, airing up for the compressor, uh, propane. And I, I replaced all the cheap plastic components that you see here with a marine grade stainless steel. And you'll see that throughout. We have some more storage here. In this compartment, I keep all of my extrication gear. In this locker, I keep all of my spare parts for the, for the truck itself, hoses, belts, filters, all of that stuff. Power stairs. Which tuck in very nicely. This is the control panel for my electrical system. all the electrical parts and components that I need for running the whole unit, all plumbing related stuff. And rather than using the uh, pull out shower handle from here, I ran a pipe up to here and this plugs in here and I've got an outdoor shower. Oh, wow. Here I installed a pair of pre-filters. So if I get a bad batch of diesel, It'll take the water out or clean it out here before it ever gets to the engine compartment. Additional storage here. This is my workbench where I can set up a vise to do that. So you see that?
We all know that when you need a vice, you need a vice. And I keep all of my hand tools, small hand tools here. I have a disc cutter, I have a, uh, a drill, and a couple of other things. My two fill. How much diesel does this hold? This vehicle comes with two standard tanks, factory standard tanks, 50 gallon and 22 gallon. So 72 gallons in total, which gives me a range of between seven and 800 miles. Here we have an outside freezer, and this is primarily to serve as a fish freezer. I have my uh, vacuum packing equipment here, uh, and I have a collapsible fillet table that I set up right here, bring a freshwater hose, and I do all my fish cleaning right here next to the freezer and right in. Never run out of food. Cardinal rule. Here we've got the other end of the pass-through compartment. And here I keep two folded e-bikes. One of them is over there. And this is what it looks like when it's assembled. Keep my spare here, my mat tracks, and a bunch of other stuff. And also my 12-foot uh, ladder goes in here. And uh, we'll go over that another time. Yeah. I keep my toys in the back seat. And here I have a two-person kayak, two inflatable paddle boards, different kinds of paddles, tent. All of my mats are in here, table, my folding chairs. It all goes in here. Now this camper is a 2019, 2018 Cirrus 920. That's correct. I ordered it without the decals and without the skylight uh, because I, I wanted to have the entire roof covered with solar panels. So I've got 1,200 watts of solar panels on the roof, and these are Solara panels that glue right onto the top. So I have 360 degrees. I have a camera on front, rear, and each side, and I can monitor those from anywhere in the world on my iPhone. Okay, so the changes that I made here, minor changes in the bed area. I basically changed all the light fixtures because I just wanted to upgrade them. So I installed two additional ones here and replaced the ones uh, at the head of the bed. Uh, and I built two laundry hampers, one for each person. So just fill it in from the side and when it's full, you got a bag there, fill it up, and out it goes. That's brilliant. I like that. Yeah, I think that's about it for that area. I installed a uh, guest marine oscillating fan so it can cool off the bed area without using the air conditioner. No changes here, no changes here. Uh, here, I, I wanted to have this dry fryer toaster oven and really didn't want to install it here. So I installed a set of tracks and just slide this over and I can use my burners. Oh, I like your space rack. Looks like home. <laughs> Gotta cook. Gotta eat well. I put four 300 amp hour lithium ion batteries under this settee and under this step. I ripped out the roof mounted air conditioning unit and installed a cruising comfort 12 volt marine system. Uh, the coils are against this wall on the outside. And then this is the air conditioning unit itself. Takes very little space, uses very little energy and can keep me nice and cool in those Baja hot nights. I also removed the uh, control panel, which used to be down there and mounted it all up here. All Victron? All Victron. Yeah, this is a total Victron conversion. And then we've got all the food stuff and dish stuff. And I like to make little changes. I, I tore out the, the sink that came with this and just put in a larger sink, different fixtures, soap dispenser, junk holder, paper towel holder, just little minor things that make a big difference. 
Uh, I like these uh, towel hangers because they, if anything, it gets tight oh, over time. I like that. We have that same problem where ours fall off the hooks. That's sure, great. towels are always falling off. That's great. So these, this is the way to go with that. And then here, this is our hanging closet. Yeah, there's not much to see there. I mounted my uh, vacuum cleaner there. And on the inside here, I have my uh, cell booster. Under here, the only thing I did was add a slider. Oh, that's nice. Keep my soda stream here. <laughs> well, Next. you do eat well, huh? You got everything in here. Have to. Have to live well. I keep some extra bottles of water here and whatever, whatever. As, as we all know, we all find every loose square inch. So that's what that is. Then we go to the bathroom. So the bathroom area, I added a, uh, a medicine cabinet. I put in a set of hanging hooks instead of the cheap plastic that it came with. I tore out the toilet and uh, installed a uh, composting toilet and converted the black water tank into another gray water holding tank. And the way I did that for anybody who's interested is by building a base underneath and routing out the back part of it with grooves. So whatever overflows from the primary holding tank overflows right into that one. The only other thing here is the uh, the closing. And, and I find this works absolutely perfectly. So my overall goal is, is to be able to take this camper anywhere in the world that I wanna go. I want it to be completely self-sufficient. I don't wanna to have to rely on anybody for anything. If I need to buy fuel once a month, I'm willing to do that. But I'd like to be able to, to, to find my own sources of water. And with my water desalination unit, I can decontaminate from any source of water, any river, pond, literally any source of water, it'll clean it out perfectly. And uh, I wanna be able to, to go not anywhere. Obviously, this vehicle has its limitations, primarily with its angle of departure. So I know I'm not gonna be able to go up and down sand dunes, but uh, short of that, I can basically go anywhere. What does the overall rig weigh? So uh, the way, the, way the, the rig is set up now, fully loaded with all the liquids and everything, I'm over 60, just over 16,000 pounds. Okay. And the truck is rated at 19,500, so I have a pretty good margin. What made you choose the Cirrus 920 over all the other options on the market? I didn't have any particular interest in the Cirrus, uh, but I looked at all the different manufacturers and I picked the Cirrus because it was most amenable to the changes that I wanted to make primarily the whole electrical system, to, to gut out the entire electrical system and rebuild it from scratch is pretty challenging. And I needed a place for the four batteries indoors because I will be going to cold weather. Uh, and, and this just was very easy to do in this particular unit. Fascinating, I agree. I have a similar setup and I like the 920 for that exact reason. A lot of room to upgrade. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the rest of the stuff is just, you know, normal stuff. One idea that I have, and, and I've already figured out how to do it, is converting this kitchen sink into a washing machine. So that's, that's a project in the works. So this ladder that he mentioned before is really remarkable. I'm gonna help him kind of stretch it out and we'll show you how it works. And since that's set up, I think I'll use that to go check out the solar. Okay. That is a lot of solar. 1200 watts? 1200 watts. And you can walk on it. Oh, and is this your cell phone booster? Yes. Okay. What's the name of it? That's a good question. I saw it on the, the sticker. Quick Step. Quick Step. 300 pound capacity. What do you say, this is from? Canadian Canadian Fire Department. And there they even have a website. Fantastic. 
very clever. That's it. Well, Avi, I really appreciate the tour. This is mind blowing, honestly. I'm glad you like it. I like it too. And looking forward to taking it everywhere. And you said that this was actually your first, like your maiden voyage with it. This is the first real trip with the unit, yes. And how long did it take you to kind of build it? And... Two years. Two years, wow. Not full time, but it's been a two year work in progress. On and off. Yeah. Really incredible, really incredible. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the tour. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, again, thank you very much. This is really, really amazing. My pleasure. Bye guys. Bye guys. All right. Have a great time. Thanks. Take care, Scott. Bye -bye. It's been a pleasure.